Yeah, I hope I have got this good, a good uh, zoom out and zoom in or whatever the heck. Um, hold on, I'm going to remove um, one of my outer shirts. It's a bit chilly in here, but uh, um, it's a bit tattered and I'm sure I'm going to nail something. Uh, okay, so what I've been trying to do, like I said, I'm trying to plan out ahead of time um, that there's going to be three successive uh, attacks, like one per turn. So that's turn, uh, so that'll be um, turn five, six, and seven. Um, and that's it. And then that'll be the end. Of, so that's the way I'm working at, uh, working it out. And when I was looking at the combat things, I should maybe hold on, grab. So what I've been trying to do is like, okay, how many strength points worth? I don't care uh, how I get them. It's like, um, what do I need combinationally? Do I need... Um, you know, twice the amount of strength points to get the effective attacking strength points if I don't supply at all or whatever. But if, um, yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. Sorry, I'm going to, I'm not going to get into this whole whatever. But suffice it to say, if you can see it here, um, it says, you know, if everybody's across the river, uh, attacking across the river, it's minus two to the die roll for uh, the attacker and plus one for the defender for their uh, counterattack. And the woods is um, the same thing uh, in die roll modification wise. Now, when I go to the combat results table, uh, you can only go to a, a maximum of uh, minus one. So, in other words, minus two. There's no, you know, minus three or whatever. Okay, for the counterattack, yes, um, I'm, they're cumulative as far as I know, so uh, they'll get a plus two, uh, me attacking across the woods. But this is, that's why I was getting into, okay, what do I need? And I wanted to start doing, a, like I was um, looking my little notes off to the side. I was like, okay, what am I going to, like I was looking both ways. Okay, what am I going to need? Uh, like, this is going to be first army directs uh, point of attack hex. This is the fourth armies. Do I, do I need to have a coordinated attack to hit this spot? How many uh, strength, effective attacking strength points am I going to need? And then I realized, wait a minute, it doesn't, I'm not going to get any, extra thing here unless I wanted to uh, use some of these units to advance across uh, over there but I'm not uh, the fourth army is is dealing with this bit they they got their they've got their hands full um, so the first army is going to be in control of this and then we'll we'll move on down the line uh, the first core here their point of point of attack hex for turn two or well for our turn uh, the three turns so that would be this uh, November 6 turn so this would be this one so it's going to be uh, turn five we we hopefully hit this with an F and so when I looked at the uh, the combat results table and meandering Mike mentioned this repeatedly when he was doing the introductory scenario for Tannenberg uh, 10 strength points attacking strength points are guaranteed one hit and what I would like to do right now is um, at least guarantee one hit. I would like to do two, but uh, um, you know that's starting to get into the realm of I I'm going to need a, an obscene amount. I'll take a look, but I can start all in, starting already to see how much this is going to cost. Um, so that's ten strength points. Effectively, I'm going to need for this attack to guarantee one hit. Then there's a plus 10 for the, the next turn. So I'm now up to 20 and then to 30. So now you can see, it's like, okay, Chris, you, you, a lot of them are going to still be around. Yeah, but uh, it's got to be, you know, I'm going to get dwindled a bit because they're going to attack back and so on and so forth. So I've got to th figure out, okay, I need 30. So I need 10 there to attack. And then, like I said, then it's going to, the second turn will be, hopefully we'll have taken this obviously. And then the next point of attack for the first army direct will be from here. And then, like I said, the first core can go from here and here if they want. And then the, the, you know, and then we just keep on trundling down the road here. That's the way I'm looking at it. So anyways, that's it. I'm just quite happy that I thought I was, it, at first, thought of, uh, I was thinking it was going to be this massively complicated thing to try. Well, it still is in some ways, but it's also looking at, uh, for me, looking at uh, how expensive it is. Uh, well, it's just, uh, we're not even entrenched yet, for goodness sakes. Okay, see ya.